Good afternoon, basketball fans, and welcome to the Auxiliary Gymnasium here at Hicksville Schools as we're getting ready for boys junior high basketball action on this Monday afternoon. It's the Edgerton Bulldogs here for a couple of games on this Monday. We'll have the seventh grade game up first, followed by the eighth graders. Hi everybody, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you with us and looking forward to some fun basketball this afternoon. Once again, I am flying solo here at the Auxiliary Gym, which means that uh, I'm going to be focusing primarily on the camera work. I'll do my best to keep you updated with the scores and time checks and so forth, but I will not be able to call traditional play-by-play -play and keep track of the scoring and so forth. So I, I apologize for that, but at the same time, the most important thing is to be able to bring you the action as it happens here on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page. Getting ready to jump second or circle in the seventh grade game. We'll get the action underway. Tip is controlled by the Bulldogs and here we go. Quick score for Edgerton and they take the early two nothing lead. And now the Aces with their first possession of the afternoon. Quick turnover and we'll go back the other way with the Bulldogs. Whistle and a foul. First infraction of the game. Will be on the Aces, their first team foul, and that's going to put Edgerton at the line to shoot two. First one no good. It's the second one, and that'll make it 3 nothing, Bulldogs. And here come the Aces. Basket's good, and he's going to go to the free throw line. Completes the three-point play, and the game is tied at three all.
Ball loose on the floor, whistle and another foul. And I believe that's going to be on Edgerton once again. That'll be their third team foul. Picked up in quick succession there. We're tied at three with three minutes and 50 seconds still to go here in the first quarter. Again, seventh grade boys basketball action on Hicks TV. it on the second put back. 5-3 now Edgerton. is answer to tie the game back up at five. That'll be a foul on the Aces. Again, common on the floor foul. So Bulldogs will get the basketball out of bounds at the baseline. And the Bulldogs hit the basket and Take another two-point lead. Seven to five, our score now. 2.07 to go in our first quarter. Whistle and a foul. That'll be team foul number four on the Bulldogs. And Aces will get the ball out of bounds. Travel called on the Bulldogs. So it'll turn the ball back over to the Aces. Oh, and that's good for three from about two feet beyond the arc. Shot up, no good, but he's going to go to the line. After the three-point shot goes down, the Aces take the lead for the first time since the very beginning of the game, 8-7. to seven. Now it's the Edgerton Bulldogs at the line, shooting two for a chance to tie or take the lead. This is the first one. He'll have one more. Clock stop with a minute 29 to go in our opening quarter. One shot remaining for the Bulldogs. And 
And that one rattles around, but goes down. We're tied at eight. Another travel, this time on the Aces. So side court out of bounds for the Bulldogs. 51.2 seconds left in our first quarter. of his foot, it'll go out of bounds, but last touched by Edgerton. So the Aces will hang on to the ball with 20.8 seconds left to go in the quarter. That'll be a jump ball. And the Aces will hang on with the possession arrow. Boom, another three from outside the arc. Makes it 11 to eight as the Aces take the lead. In and out, no good. And that brings us to the end of our first quarter of play. And after one in the seventh grade boys basketball game, it's the homestanding Aces leading the Edgerton Bulldogs 11 to 8 to the score. Got a little time here at the quarter break to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters, making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television. That, of course, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships. In Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. We want to thank them so very much for their continued support. All of our basketball broadcasts for the 2020-2021 season. From the junior high level all the way through varsity coverage. All of the home games we've been able to cover and... When we uh, get to February and March, we'll be able to follow the Varsity Aces boys and girls on the tournament trail as far as they go, as far as we're allowed to follow them, <laughs> but the case may be. And remember, anytime you see Aces basketball action on Hicksville Community Television, they're the ones that make it possible. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick. Jim Schmidt Ford. And online at jimschmidtauto.com. Yeah, I see my buddy Nate Marikin is joining us for the live stream this afternoon. How you doing, Nate Stir? Good to have you out there watching. Back into action now. Again, the East is up 11 to 8. Battle for the ball under the basket and a whistle and a foul. That's going to be on the Bulldogs. It'll be another common foul, but team foul number five now for Edgerton. Comes at the 542 mark here in the second quarter. Aces have committed three team fouls so far this half. Hicksville with the ball and the lead. Bad pass out of bounds, and that'll go back to the Bulldogs.
Foul beneath the basket. That'll send the Bulldogs to the line. Up, oh, I take it back, not in the act of shooting. foul and this time he will go to the line that'll be team foul number five on the aces and that will put Edgerton at the line shooting two they're down by three 11 to 8 our second quarter score that's good makes it 11 to 9 some quick substitutions Shots no good, but the dogs get the rebound. Another put back, that's no good. Rebound Edgerton again, battle under the basket. Six team fouls now for the Aces. And another foul, and that's going to put the Edgerton Bulldogs into the bonus for the remainder of the half. Eleven to nine, and again, two-shot foul for the Edgerton Bulldogs. First one's no good. Second one in and out, and the rebound to the Aces. Score remains 11 to nine, Hicksville. And the Aces will draw the foul and go to the line to shoot two. Team foul number six on the Bulldogs. So after this, the Aces will be in the bonus as well. Four forty to go. First shot is good. That makes it a 12 to nine game. Warning to the crowd from one of the officials. Second shot, also good. Makes it a 13 to nine game. Off the glass, no good. Put back, no good. And another rebound to the Bulldogs. Doing very well on the boards and we'll have a Whistle underneath the basket, and another two-shot foul coming for the Bulldogs. As they have been given the Aces fits with the rebounding on the offensive end, a lot of offensive rebounds for the Bulldogs here in this seventh grade game. They're at the line, they're down by four. Two shots coming for Edgerton. First one's no good. And a timeout on the floor. Our first timeout of the game comes with 4.20 to go here in the second quarter. Aces are leading by four, 13 to nine. But the Bulldogs are at the free throw line. They have one free throw still to come. 
And again, really, really outperforming the Aces on the rebounds on the offensive end. So quick 30 second timeout to get the team refocused from the Hicksville bench and we'll get back in action with the second free throw here. That one also no good, and the rebound comes down to Hicksville. And a drive to the bucket and a foul. That's team foul number seven on the Edgerton Bulldogs, which puts the Aces into the bonus for the remainder of the half. It should be a two-shot foul, though, for Hicksville. That one's good. So far, Aces doing well at the free throw line. Gets them both. That makes it a 15-9 game as the Aces increase their lead over the Bulldogs to six. And another whistle and another foul on Hicksville. Team foul number nine, that should be a one and one. Yep. And with it being the ninth team foul, the next foul that the Aces commit will put Edgerton into the double bonus for the remainder of the half. So this might be the only one and one Edgerton shoots in the first half. Misses the front end, rebound comes down to the Aces. underneath the basket at 334 and if that's a foul it should be one and one for the aces and it is so we'll move down to the other end of the floor and Hicksville will be back at the line to shoot one plus one 334 to go in the half good so you'll get the bonus makes it a 16 to 9 game we we'll have a brief uh, stoppage here the Aces needs to tie his shoe all set ready to go gets them both 17 to 9 the score now Point attempt is no good. Aces get the rebound. And as we go past the halfway point of the second quarter, Hicksville with the ball and the lead. Nice feed down low. Shot is up good. And is going to the line. The field goal makes it a 19 to 9 game. A 10 point lead now for the Aces at a free throw coming. And team foul number nine on the Edgerton Bulldogs. So both the teams on the cusp of going into the double bonus. And that's good. 20 to nine.
That'll be a travel. On a second, as they make a few quick substitutions on the Edgerton side. Aces get the ball inbounds, and here we go. 2.25 to go in the half. Whistle and another foul underneath the basket, and that's going to be on the Aces. So two free throws coming up here for Edgerton. It'll be, uh, it should put them in the double bonus. So it'll be a two-shot foul. Officials getting everything all squared away. First one is good. Makes it a 10 point game, 20 to 10. And one more shot coming for the Bulldogs. This is that one, Aces track down the rebound. Foul on Edgerton, so we'll go down to the other end to shoot some more free throws. Here with a minute 23 to go in the half. And that one's good. That'll make the score 21 to 10. That was team foul number 10 on the Bulldogs, by the way, so the Aces are now also in the double bonus. So both teams shooting two free throws, regardless, for the remainder of this half. Hicksville with one more shot coming. Off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound to the Bulldogs. Almost stolen away, but... The Aces players stepped on the sideline, so out of bounds to the Bulldogs. Up and good. 21-12 now. A minute to go here before halftime. goes out of bounds. Last touched by Edgerton. So the Aces will get the ball back. 23.4 seconds left in the half. Hicksville with the lead. 21 to 12 and the ball. And 
and another foul. And the Aces will go back to the line one more time here before we reach the half. 11.2 seconds left. That one's good, makes it 22 to 12 and back to a 10 point lead for Hicksville. One more free throw coming. That one's no good. Last seconds of the half, kicking away. In and out, no good. And that'll be the end of the first half of play. So we've played the first 12 minutes of this seventh grade boys game, and at halftime, it's the homestanding Aces leading the visiting Edgerton Bulldogs by 10, 22 to 12, the halftime score. Going to take a bit of a break here, but we invite you to stay tuned. I'll be back, and we'll have all the exciting coverage of the second half action coming your way right here on Hicks TV. to the Auxiliary Gymnasium as we are counting down the last few seconds of halftime of this seventh grade boys basketball game between the Hicksville Aces and the visiting Edgerton Bulldogs. Bill Murphy for Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you with us. If you are just joining us, our halftime score for the seventh grade boys as the Aces leading the Bulldogs by 10, 22 to 12, the halftime score. Again, I am flying solo here this afternoon, which means that we're not doing traditional play-by-play -play and I'm focusing primarily on running the camera and uh, bringing you all the action and keeping you updating on the scores and time checks and so forth, but not able to keep track of the uh, individual scoring or anything like that for you this afternoon. Sorry about that, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Aces will have the ball to get the second half started. And here we go, we're underway. Again, it's seventh grade boys basketball here on Hicks TV. Travel. Edgerton's first possession here of this second half. Bulldogs down by 10. Going to count the basket and he'll go to the line. First team foul of the second half for the Aces. With the score, it's now 22 14. Aces still in the lead. Edgerton at the line looking to complete the three point play. And they get it. Make it 22 to 15 and cut the Aces lead to seven. underneath the basket as 
The Edgerton players stepping on the line with the basketball, turns it over. So the Aces will get the ball back. 4.43 to go here in quarter number three. Aces up 22 to 15. Off the glass, no good. Rebound to the Edgerton Bulldogs. Quickly up the floor, shot is up, no good. Rebound to the Aces. Have a whistle. And a foul, that'll be on Edgerton. That'll be their first team foul and Aces with the ball. Out of bounds on the baseline. Knocked right back out of bounds. to 15 back to a 10 point game. Several three-point attempts, none of them going down for Hicksville. And the Bulldogs with the ball back. Nice feed inside, up off glass, no good. And the Aces come up with the rebound and back on offense. 2.52 left to go in our third quarter. Aces up by 10, 25-15. up long distance again to make it a 28 to 15 game. Running jump shot no good for the Bulldogs. Rebound to Hicksville and here come the Aces. up no good rebound Edgerton here come the Bulldogs down by 13 shot is up no good but the foul will be on the aces that'll be team foul number two for Hicksville and it will put Edgerton at the free throw line to shoot two Bulldogs down by 13, 28-15. And a timeout on the floor called by the Aces bench. So we'll have a timeout before we shoot our free throws here. Minute 38 to go in this third quarter. Again, more watching boys seventh grade basketball action here on Hicksville Community Television. Bill Murphy running the camera and I'm here by myself, so I can't really say I'm calling the action, but I'm sort of keeping you updated with what's going on. Again, glad to have you out there watching.
full one minute timeout here. As the Aces started off this half up by 10, the Bulldogs cut into that lead and trimmed it to seven and then a flurry of three point shots put the Aces back up by six or back up by 13 rather. So it's 28-15 Hicksville, but again, the Bulldogs at the line, shooting two. First one's good. Makes it 28 to 16. Edgerton was a little cold from the free throw line in the first half, but it looks like they're getting warmed up here and doing a little bit better from the free throw line. Misses that one. But the rebound to the Bulldogs. Shots no good, but another foul from the Aces, and we'll go right back to the free throw line. Team foul number three for Hicksville. And again, Edgerton at the line shooting two. Good chance for them to whittle down this lead and get themselves a little closer with the clock stopped. That one's good. Makes it 28-17. This is the second one. Ball is loose on the floor. It'll go out of bounds. And last touch by Edgerton. So the Aces get the ball back with a minute 34 to go in the third quarter. Up by 11, 28 to 17. and a foul on the Bulldogs. That'll be team foul number two. Uh, again, common foul on the floor. Aces will have the ball. Side court, out of bounds. God is up, no good. Misses the layup, and here come the Bulldogs. And another whistle, another foul. And more free throws for the Bulldogs. As that's team foul number four. First one's no good. Score remains 28-17. Shots no good, aces with the ball. Under a minute to go here in this third quarter. And a travel as he shifts his feet, looking to pass the ball. So turnover. Edgerton will get the ball back. They're down by 11, 45 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Ball knocked loose, it goes out of bounds. The officials say last touched by Edgerton. Shot no good, rebound to the Bulldogs. Ball loose on the floor. Oh. 
Ball out of bounds with 5.8 seconds. Aces ball. Close, but no good, and that's the end of the third quarter. And after three, the Aces maintain their lead. They are up 28 to 17 over the Bulldogs here in this seventh grade boys basketball game. I want to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters, making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, whether you want one that is brand new or pre-owned, car, truck, van, or SUV, stop by, check out the great selection they have on the lots at Jim Schmidt Chevy Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford, or you can check out the complete dealer inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. Don't see what you're looking for? Let the folks at Jim Schmidt know what you're interested in. They always do their best to find you exactly the vehicle that you want. It's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. So proud to have them as our basketball broadcast underwriters here on Hicksville Community Television. All right, six minutes on the clock as we get ready to get the fourth quarter underway. Aces leading by 11, 28 to 17. Hicksville using every last second of the break in their huddle. They come out onto the floor, and it'll be Edgerton's ball to start the fourth quarter. That'll be a whistle and a foul on the Bulldogs. That'll be team foul, I believe, number three on Edgerton. Aces get the ball back. Stepped on the baseline, so they'll turn it over to the Bulldogs. 5.26 to go in the game. Aces dropping back on defense, and here come Edgerton. Shot is up and no good. Rebound taken away by Hicksville. Here come the Aces. Shot is no good, but he'll be fouled, and Hicksville will head to the line to shoot a couple of free throws. The 4.59 to go in the game. Team foul number four on Edgerton. So both Edgerton and the Aces with four team fouls. First free throw, bounces along the rim and does not go in. He'll have one more. Score remains 28-17 and another timeout called, this time by the Bulldogs. So 4.59 to go here in quarter number four. Seventh grade boys basketball coming to you from the Auxiliary Gymnasium here at Hicksville Schools. It's the Aces hosting Edgerton. Hicksville's leading by 11, 28 to 17. And they will be at the line to shoot a free throw after we come out of this timeout. Both teams have committed four team fouls. So both teams, a couple of fouls they can still give before they have to worry about sending their opponents to the line to shoot free throws. 
first of two games here this afternoon. After this one wraps up, we'll take a little bit of a break. We'll end this live stream, but we'll be back with our second live stream. Coverage of the eighth grade matchup right here on Hicks TV. Get ready to get back into action now. Again, 4.59 to go in regulation here in the seventh grade boys game. Shot again, bounces around, but does not go down. Aces run down the rebound, maintain possession of the ball. Bad pass stolen by the Bulldogs. And they lose the dribble on the way down the floor. Aces almost get it back. And then Ryan's up in Edgerton's hands and then another whistle. That'll be on the Aces. That'll be team foul number five. They'll say in the act of shooting. So Edgerton at the line to shoot two. First one, no good. Score remains 28-17. We've been, been stuck on 28-17 for a while here. Gets the second one, that makes it 28-18. Cuts the lead to 10. They'll stop real quickly for an Edgerton substitution. And Aces will get the ball underneath the basket with 4.20 left to go in the game. as he takes his step trying to get open to make the pass. So another turnover back to the Bulldogs. 3.50 left in the game. Again, it's a 10-point lead for the Aces. And another foul on Hicksville. And two more shots from the free throw line coming up for the Bulldogs. Team foul number six, so next one committed by the Aces will put Edgerton into the bonus for the remainder of the game. That one's good. That cuts the lead to single digits, 28-19. Lackadaisical at that end of the floor, and the ball stolen away by the Bulldogs, who are not giving up. Got up and good. And timeout on the floor as the Aces' 13 point lead is now down to seven. As the Dogs have gone on a bit of a run here and have cut into the Aces' lead. So all credit to Edgerton, feisty group of young men, and they have not given up. They've been whittling away at the Aces' lead. And again, they've uh, cut it in half. Now just a seven-point game. Hicksville will have the ball. 326 left in regulation. And 
Going a little too fast. A bad pass goes out of bounds. Aces turn it over again. goes out of bounds. It'll be Edgerton's ball, side court. Got up off glass and good. And just like that, it's a five point game, 23-28. Aces could use some offense. They've been sitting on that 28 points for quite a while. Got up, no good. Rebound to the Bulldogs. Got up, no good. Foul, and Edgerton will go to the line to shoot some more free throws. Quick substitution, that's team foul number seven. So the Aces put Edgerton into the bonus for the remainder of the game, 2.28 to let go. Clock stopped and Edgerton at the line to shoot two. Aces lead has now been trimmed to five. In and out, no good. Second one is good, and it's a four-point game. And Edgerton trying to <laughs> inbound the ball, but that gets corrected quickly. Nine unanswered points by the Bulldog has cut a 13-point Hicksville lead to only four. 28 to 24, aces with the ball. Two minutes left to play in the game. And that'll be a whistle. Team foul number five on Edgerton. It'll be Aces ball out of bounds side court. with a minute 50 to go in the game. And that's gonna be another foul. That on the Aces, an offensive foul. So no free throws for Edgerton, but they'll get the ball back. And they're gonna wave that one off. And Edgerton committing the foul. And that'll give the ball back to the Aces. Team foul number six on the Bulldogs. Another foul on Edgerton. That'll be team foul number seven. So that should put the Aces at the line. Shoot one and one. And it does. 
Aces leading 28 to 24. Hits the front end, 29 to 24, back to a five point lead. As uh, for this next minute 28 on the stretch run here, the Aces are gonna need to be able to hit their free throws. Gets them both, 30 to 24, six point lead and another timeout. Minute 28 to go in the game. Both teams in the bonus, so. We still have a lot of basketball left to go here in this seventh grade game. Aces again had a 13 point lead and then uh, got stuck on the 28 points on the scoreboard. The Bulldogs put together a nice rally, battled back and cut the lead to four, nine unanswered points. And then the Aces able to capitalize from the free throw line just now. The pull back out by six, 30 to 24. We got a minute 28 to go here in the contest. Full timeout called. And again, uh, once we uh, finish up this game, we'll have just a real quick wrap up. We'll end this live stream. And uh, then we will take a little bit of a break, usually about uh, seven, eight minutes thereabouts eight to 10 minutes. And then uh, we'll be back with our second live stream for this afternoon with the boys eighth grade contest here on Hicks TV. So it'll be Edgerton's ball out of bounds on the baseline. Again, a minute 28 to go here in our fourth quarter. Stolen away by the Aces. And that'll be on the Aces. So no shots, but the Edgerton Bulldogs will get the ball, ball back on the uh, offensive foul. Minute 14 to go. And ball stolen away by the Aces, and then taken right back by the Bulldogs. Down to a minute to go in the contest. Long shot, no good, rebound Aces. Hicksville. Another bad pass out of bounds and back to the Bulldogs. With 49.2 seconds, the Aces just needed to take their time, hold on to the ball. They got the six point lead, under a minute to go. Shot up, runner's good. And another timeout. So the bucket makes it a four point game, 30 to 26. And again, as soon as the score is made, an immediate timeout called by the Edgerton coach with 41.2 seconds left in the game. It'll be Hicksville's ball. We come out of the timeout. The referee, the officials conferring, making sure that both the men in the stripes know how many timeouts are remaining for both teams. And again, it'll be Aces ball out of bounds on the baseline. 41.2 seconds left in the game. Aces up by four. And again, a foul. That'll be on Edgerton. So we'll go down to the other end and shoot some free throws. The Aces with 38.1 seconds left in the game. Again, four-point lead for Hicksville. Aces need to hit their free throws down the stretch run here. First one, no good. Rebound to the Bulldogs. Quickly up the floor. 
from the corner, no good. And as soon as the Aces make the rebound, they are fouled. With 28.4 seconds, we'll march down to the other end of the field again. And we'll get ready for some more Hicksville free throws. That was team foul number nine, by the way, for the Edgerton Bulldogs. So after this, any further fouls, Aces will be in the double bonus and they will be shooting two free throws. This will be the last one and one for the game. Again, it's 30-26 Hicksville. And before the, free, before the free throws, another timeout, this time from the Hicksville Aces bench. So both these coaches utilizing their timeouts to the fullest as both these squads working to take home the W this afternoon. As it's taken us quite a while to play the last 90 seconds of this seventh grade game as is not at all unusual. Aces will break huddle first. And again, they will be at the line shooting a one and one. 28.1 seconds. Misses the front end and Edgerton with the ball. They lose the dribble. Aces get it back, but then it's taken away from them. Working underneath, shots no good. Put back up, no good. Ball bouncing around loose. Got him trapped in the corner, down to nine seconds. Ball out of bounds. Aces inbounds, ball loose on the floor. Another whistle. And we're going to go back down to the other end. That will be team foul number 10 on Edgerton. So with 3.3 seconds, it'll be two shots, double bonus for the Aces. Aces squad for the most part, dropping back to defend the basket. So it'll be two shots for Hicksville. First one is good. That makes it 31 to 26 and a five point lead. One more coming. That one's no good. It's a five point game. Long shot, distance of the court, out of bounds, and that's the ball game. Your final score it's the Aces defeating the Edgerton Bulldogs 31 to 26, the final score in this eighth grade contest. So we're gonna wrap up this live stream here quickly and get ready to uh, bring you the eighth grade action coming up shortly here on Hicksville Community Television. Again, I'm here on my own, so I don't have any unofficial scores or anything to pass along to you. I do wanna take some time though to say a big thank you to the Hicksville Junior High Athletic Department for giving us this space and allowing us to be here to live stream the action for you this afternoon. Thanks also to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio for underwriting our basketball coverage here on Hicksville Community Television. Thanks to you for joining us this afternoon. And once again, it's a win for the seventh grade boys here as they knock off the Edgerton Bulldogs by five. We're gonna end this live stream. I'm gonna be back in about 10 minutes and we'll have live coverage of the eighth grade matchup between the Bulldogs and the Aces. Until then, once again, Aces win the seventh grade game. Thanks for joining us for Hicksville Community Television. I'm Bill Murphy wishing you a good afternoon and good sports.